Lagos plant is so simple to grow, it practically grows itself, it doesn't does. it, Shirley? Yep. Well, today, Shirley is gonna show us how to care for this popular plant that's also considered one of nature's air purifiers. I know. They're so beautiful, and you know, my mom has these all over her house, Shirley. Right. And that's probably because they're so easy to grow, right? Yeah, well, I'm sure your mom's a good gardener. She is. Right? She is. But that's the thing, if you're not a good gardener, if you're a newbie and you really wanna get plants in your life, this is the perfect plant for the beginner. And the reason is, it's very forgiving. If you don't give it water like every other day, right. it's all right, it's gonna survive, it's gonna actually thrive. And it actually likes very bright light, but it does well in dark rooms, in offices with fluorescent lights. And the thing that I really love is the fact that it cleans the air. But Debbie, this little innocent beauty here, in nature is a beast. Take a look at this picture. It grows to 60 feet tall. Oh my Can you imagine? Gosh, but what? it's very That's well nuts. behaved in the house. That is so wild. It's, it's pretty good. But what I want to show you is the fact that it's attractive. You could have it as a hanging plant. That's look great. how pretty that is, right? You could put it on your tabletop, yeah. like I have here in my orange pot. So pretty. Look, you could grow a big. This is my prized Hawaiian pothos. Look at the it's size beautiful. of the leaves. My mom has one. Isn't so that pretty? Yeah. But really, the sheer variety of colors and variegation, which means the markings on the plants is great. And the other way that people don't think about growing this, kind of like in nature, is to have it as a climbing plant. I have it I in that it. pot right there. And so today I'm gonna show you how to uh, train it as a climbing plant. Up a post, which is, almost, it looks like a vine now. Yeah, it is. Okay, show us how to do this. Okay. How do we grow it up this post? All right, Deb, so the first thing you need to do is get a hold of what they call a moss post. You can buy this online, you can buy it at the garden center, okay. or you can DIY one like I did right there. All, right. All I did was I take a wood post and I cover it with coconut core material, and then I just tie it up there. But let me show you what we're gonna do here. This is just inserted into the pot Okay. I made sure to wet it. This has to be wet, and there's a purpose for that. All right. And then, so Deb, we're gonna start with our long vine. Okay. So I want you to give it a little turn around, you know, kind of uh, train it around okay. gently. Make it pretty. Yeah, make it pretty. And then I want you to see that, you see these pins, guys? They come with these kits at the garden center. Okay. And there's a specific place, Deb, that I want you to pin this. So with your other hand, I'm gonna okay. assist you. Um, I want you to pin it right here. You see where this little brown uh, nub is coming out? Where it looks like yeah. it's dying there? Yeah, but it isn't. It's not, okay. Okay, this is the exciting part. You know, if you don't have these pins, you could probably use hair pins, Yeah, no? you could, yeah, get creative. Okay. okay, guys, this is what's exciting. You see this thing that looks dead? Well, let me get it in there. Well, it isn't dead. As a matter of fact, it is going to bring forth life. These are aerial roots. These, you know, there's just not roots down here. This, as it climbs, is gonna set roots on this post like it does on the tree. And I wanna show you a picture of what aerial roots look like in nature. You see all that fiber? Yes. Those are roots that are just causing this plant to thrive more and more. So eventually those roots will start to embed into the post yep. and I can just take the pins out. Exactly. Wow, Isn't that how fun? long is that gonna take? Uh, probably about a year. It's okay. pretty fast growing. And then okay. these actually you can add Another, you can stick another one of these posts and keep it making, you know, keep it tall. Well, people who love these yeah. love to have a lot of them, and yeah. they're also very easy to multiply. Oh so my show gosh! Show us how to do that, Shirley. All right, the basics. Okay. If you want to grow these in water, look. All you got to do is take a cutting. Look how. Can you see the roots in here, guys? Yeah. This has been growing on my windowsill, and you can keep it in the bottle for a long time. Maybe you don't have a big space to okay. display it, so that's beautiful. But if you want to create a potted plant like this, I think it's best, Deb, to start by doing the cuttings in soil. All right. Okay, so what we have in here is a blend of 50-50 mix. We've got potting soil and we've got succulent mix. So it has very, very nice uh, aeration. And it's a little bit wet. And so I wanna show you, and I'm gonna take this since we're using this okay. as our display. Um, where you cut on the stem, I notice a lot of people just cut here and put a big old cutting. That's not what's best. Okay. What's best is if you follow the stem to the base here, and then you make a cut, are you with me? Right there. And then you're gonna make another cut here on the other side. Hmm. So now you have like a T. You see that? Interesting, why is that important? Because this is where all of the growth hormones are. And that's going to right cause at the it, intersection. Yes, right in here okay. in the node. And it's gonna cause this to root and to grow. So Deb, 
Why don't you make me a little hole there? Okay, I love right your little here. chopstick. You like that, huh? You gotta make your own equipment there you here. Go. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in there, let's cover it. That's it, doesn't have to be that deep? It doesn't have to be that deep, see right. that? Okay, now I have an idea for you guys. You see how I have here? I created a uh, potted plant with different varieties. Why does that. it have to be one? Let's let's be fun. Very clever. Right? Okay, so let's take one of these. Okay. So and you can mix get, it up a little bit. Right. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it too long. Bigger one. But I'm going to go ahead and do it correctly. Remember okay. I said, here's a cut. Your T. Perfect. Let's go ahead and Put it poke in. that do in. another one. And the only thing is you want to just give it a little space. Okay. And then I'll do one more. We're going to make a little greenhouse. There Thank you go. You. And now you cover it with your plastic bag. Yep. That is it, my friends. And how long before this starts to root? Well, this will probably root in about two to three weeks. Okay. And you can tell because you'll come and you'll pull on it. Well, this should be sized for it. But anyways, you want to cover it. You could even use an upside down old, okay. uh, you know, bottle of water or whatever. But you want to cover it. And this is going to be like your little greenhouse. And, and you're going to have a new plant. Keep it in, in bright light. Yeah, this is where the easy care. Just give it a bright light if you can. If it's medium light, low light, no one's gonna, it's not gonna complain, okay? What might happen though, if it doesn't have enough light, these beautiful colors that you start off with will just turn green. It's okay, they're still beautiful. Yeah, don't water it too often. Make sure the soil dries out and give it uh, temperatures around 60 to 85 degrees and you will be in business. Easy You'll have paradise. Breezy. You'll look like you're in a, a, a jungle paradise. That's right. Thank you, Shirley. You got it, Henry. You all make sure to visit homeworkchannel.com for more information.